Hello there Cancers, welcome to your weekly reading. So the first row, the first five cards deal with your love relationships and the second five cards deal more with the overall energy coming in for you for the next week. Um, first of all, a lot of um, questions here and reassessment when it comes to love and relationships and what you ultimately need as a Cancerian person in order for you to feel emotionally fulfilled, okay? For this week, I feel like there is a certain level of estrangement from your relationship partner. One person might be dealing with their own things and they're kind of um, either distancing themselves from you. It could be a, a, a spouse, a boyfriend, girlfriend, or the person that you're interested in. There is this mismatch when it comes to communication, um, when it comes to, you know, spending time together. One person might be pushing for it, feeling very, you know, passionate, and the other person is standing, uh, is feeling standoffish, is feeling like, you know, let's back up a little bit or let's slow down. So there's a uneven pacing when it comes to the love relationship for this week. Um, I feel like a lot of you are trying to take things to the next level, are trying to build upon an existing love relationship. Uh, we have here the Ace of Cups, and this is actually, even in the reverse, it's still a very, very good card that denotes to me the possibilities are out there for you to grow together, for you to develop with each other. But there is a certain level of um, estrangement or iciness or coldness or aloofness possibly between you and the relationship partner. And that energy needs to be transmuted. It needs to change and it needs to shift so that the two of you can write things, um, can, can like find the, the, the emotional balance in the relationship once more. And the way that I'm looking at this is you're trying to figure out ways to alleviate the situation. You're trying to figure out ways to get you and your partner on the same path, on the same level, or even, you know, to, to kind of melt the ice. So you're dealing with somebody possibly a little bit more on the icy end, whereas you're very passionate and you might have dealt with people in the past that were very passionate. They go after what they want. They're very emotionally expressive towards you. There's a lot of uh, chemistry, a lot of passion. And I feel like it comes, it flows so naturally that you just never question it. And you thought all your relationships would be like this. Whereas right now you're dealing with someone who's a little bit more aloof, lot, a lot more independent, a lot more communicative. And they're not like the warm, fuzzy, touchy, feely type of a person. And because of that, um, you have to find ways to kind of reinvent the way in which you work with this person. I have two people here from your past. Okay, you have a lot of kings showing up. These were major, major players. Um, I have a fire sign, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, and then a Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Taurus in your past. So you might have had this as an ex-spouse, ex-partner, or like a person you were interested in in the past. And I feel like it could be even be the same person where the passion is there, the, the, the excitement was there, the dynamism and the chemistry was definitely there, but they might have been very um, unstable, like financially, they couldn't take care of themselves. They didn't really make practical decisions to kind of build a future with you, or it was very difficult for you to build a future with them, mainly because they weren't on the, uh, you, the two of you were not on the same page. You might have shifted and moved away from it. And you might have been with them where there's a lot of sexual, you know, chemistry, but there wasn't a lot of compatibility. Um, there wasn't an opportunity to build a future together because the love was not there. And so moving forward, you're trying to figure out, you know, what do I really need? Um, what do I really want from a relationship partner? And you see in this person, possibly an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, and air signs have been showing up across the board for so many signs. So they can exhibit the air sign qualities of an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or they might be very methodical, very practical, very strategic. Um, you might feel like they're a little bit like, um, they're not warm and not, you know, super affectionate. And at the same time, they can, from your perception, they can be a little bit calculating, a little bit cold and aloof. 
and, or you know those combinations and it's just like how do I break the ice? How do I get them to talk about more of their emotions? How do we build a family, a future together if they're a little bit more on the aloof end and I want more out of this relationship? And I feel like they want more as well. There's a feeling here about them wanting to build this great love with you, but they might not know how because their nature it's hard for them to open up and it's also hard for them to um, be something that they're not. They want to be the person that you need, you know, a lot of touching, a lot of um, caresses and a lot of affection and, and things like that. But they don't know how to transmute their own nature or their own archetype to be the person that you want. So there's a lot of recalibrating in your relationship that i feel is happening and i feel like you're dealing with someone that is that has a lot of things on their plate as well and their mind might not be focused on the relationship they're trying to do things they're trying to get things started and so this is a week where you're going to feel a little bit isolated and a little bit lonely and uh, just kind of that emotional distance or the physical distance between you and your partner keep in mind the love is there so you know it's such a short snippet of time so don't question what you feel or what they feel okay just um reach out and you know don't uh, get to the point where you're questioning or doubting their intentions because i feel like there's a lot of integrity and honesty and straightforward energy here uh, if you reach out, they should reciprocate with communication and to clarify whatever it is that you're going through. So I feel like this is a week for you to kind of be on your own and your partner seems like they're dealing with their own things on their own. So I see two people that might be um, bogged down with responsibilities and not allowing the love to flourish or the love the timing for love in general might be a little bit off from both parties ends and it doesn't mean that it's not there it just means that it's a little bit harder to come together and be together okay so i don't i don't see delays i feel like you know just um you both are off doing your own things and you're going to reconvene at a later date because the love is still there all right so moving on here to the rest of your spread, this other spread deals heavily as well with um, more, I feel like work life and, and home life balance. I have here the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands, when it's not a love, um, when it, it doesn't fall into the love reading, it deals heavily with like new projects, new energies, new ideas, and especially housing situation, okay? And um, for whatever reason, the housing environment might have felt a little bit uncomfortable. It might have felt, and you know, uh, cancers, you guys are not very minimalistic when it comes to your housing decor. You want a home that has um, a lot of stuff. And a lot of you are very um, prone to like hoarding things, keeping things, um, mainly because of sentimental value. So. I definitely feel like you need to kind of declutter your environment a little bit. I see a lot of cleaning, um, cleaning in preparation for something, inviting uh, another person into the picture, possibly this person. If you're, you know, you, you just started dating and they're seeing your house for the first time, I see a lot of like cleaning, sweeping things, uh, mopping, uh, vacuuming, uh, decluttering the junk in your environment, decluttering uh, things and decluttering just your living space so that it's presentable for the other person. So you might be dealing with somebody buddy, that you feel it's a little bit like um, they want things a certain way and they, they, they are very adamant about having things their way so they might be a little bit more critical and when i said critical i automatically think of virgos no offense to you guys virgos watching this or cross watching but i feel like you might be dealing with somebody who's like you know they um 
They sweep their finger across the countertop just to see if there's a, there are specks of dust or debris, or they're just very particular about the home environment, or you are becoming very particular about your home environment and you feel like there isn't enough space. So there's a lot of like moving parts around, rearranging, cleaning in particular. And I also feel like with this lover's card, this is about options and choices and uh, things like that. And I feel as well, options for investment, options for you to devote your time, your resources towards something else. So I, I do see as well, you know, shifting money around savings and, and checking account or putting money away, like storing money away. So all of that is coming through. Um, what I feel as well, um, there's a very big housing situation here. And I feel like, you know, you're trying to count your resources and you're trying to figure out how much resources I should allocate to this or that. So financial management is really important for you for this week. And it came in, you know, right after this Mercury retrograde and also this uh, full moon in Pisces. So I do see like, you know, uh, joint finances, share resources, or even what you have in the bank. All of these things, if they're not balanced out, they're going to be glaring um, sources of contention for you. So it's really important for you to look into this and to figure out if it's still, if you are um, able to dip into your savings for something is what I'm also getting. And if you're able to be able to afford, you know, certain lifestyle or certain things that you want and how much you need to save up in order for you to practically and realistically do that. Okay. I'm also seeing a lot of new projects coming down the pipelines for you guys with this Ace of Wands here. It's like projects that are getting, that have been delayed and now they're coming into the picture for you to revisit or for you to gate to for people to gauge whether or not you're still interested in undertaking these new endeavors. So some good things coming through, but I, I do see like a lot of practical things you have to take care of from your end. And a lot of it is decluttering your space. Okay. Um, I hope the reading is helpful and I wish you all the best. Okay. I'll be back next week. Bye-bye.